Hi Cancer, welcome to your June guidance reading. This is TC, your guiding chariot. Happy early birthday to my June Cancers. Um, I hope you guys are safe and, you know, kind of thriving as best as we can during these crazy times. Um, I'm sorry I've been absent for a little bit. Quarantine definitely had some crazy things in store for me. Um, happy to say, things are resolved. Tech issues have been resolved. Um, and we're back at it, so happy to be here. Uh, this reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is going to be a general read, so my ask is that you take what resonates, leave behind the rest. Um, don't try to force any of the messages. Only take what fits your circumstance. If you have to force it too much, not meant for you. Leave it on the table. Um, I am going to do this reading slightly different. Um, I'm going to pull uh, three cards to kind of check in on what's surrounding you physically, three cards what's surrounding you Sorry, there's like a jet or something going by. Oh, that's loud. Okay. I hope you can hear me. It's starting to, you know, feel like it's still pretty loud. Um, anyway, <laughs> three cards for what's going on physically, three cards for what's going on kind of mentally in your headspace, and then three cards for what's going on spiritually. That was like the longest one by ever. Uh, we are officially in eclipse season. I am filming this on the 6th. We had our uh, lunar eclipse in Sagittarius just yesterday on the 5th. We have our solar eclipse in Cancer uh, at the end of this month. And then we have a uh, another lunar eclipse ending eclipse season in July, beginning of July in Capricorn. So Cancer. Lots of stuff going on for us. We have a solar eclipse in our sign, and then a lunar eclipse in Capricorn, which is right across from us on the wheel. So expect a lot of changes, a lot of revelations. This eclipse season is bringing up a lot of karmic stuff, um, and in a way that we can finally close the door, end the chapter, move on, close the book, put it back on the shelf, and just be done with it. So lots of good stuff coming our way, but there may be some crazy times. Uh, with that said, let's get into the reading. Okay. I am using a new deck, and these cards are massive. So if you hear me fidgeting with them, it's just because I'm trying to make sure they all fit in, in the frame. Just so you know why I'm, like, doing this the whole time. So. Okay. This makes me super happy. So we have the star seed here. For this deck, this is the full card. So this is speaking to a brand new beginning, a new journey, maybe a little leap of faithy for some of us. Honestly, I think this is just speaking to newness. We're heading in a direction. And I think this is something you're already aware of, Cancer. I don't think this is something still coming, um, or at least something that's totally out of the blue, where just this, you just, oh, I wish I could do this, or I wish I could, I wish I was doing something other than what I'm doing, and then suddenly something falls in your lap. I don't think that's what this is. This is something you have kind of been envisioning. Um, some of these seeds have already been planted. I want to say a lot of them have already kind of come to fruition, but I think you're just now tackling it in a new way or you understand it differently. So now you're being a lot more effective down this, this path. And this may even just be about you, your, your just personal, how you present yourself, how you live your life, um, how you see yourself. Maybe, maybe more what's on topic versus like, career path or you know home life and things like that this this honestly could just be about your own identity and your own definition and then we have ascension this is the world card so we literally we go from square one to the finish line which is why i don't see this as something that's completely out of the blue and completely out of nowhere you know this is something that you've already kind of been working on so this jump from you know the beginning to the end not something that's incredibly far away or long because you've done a lot of the work already it's almost kind of like you did all the pre-work and then it was initiated you know and we're kind of just running already which is great that's a beautiful thing we also have the higher self which is the high priestess card so this has a lot to do with our intuitive nature um, and just your own understanding of what you've been going through and what you've been working on what kind of blockages or you know maybe some karmic ties for some of us you know because of this eclipse 
all these things that we've been trying to rationalize and work through and process and heal from, um, or just rise above. You know, these, this doesn't necessarily have to be healing, so to speak. I, I will say I do think it is, but it could just be things we've been trying to understand or things we've been trying to develop in our own identity or in our own careers or in our own relationships. Whatever that is, whatever that thing that we've been kind of internalizing and processing and really trying to understand, we're closing that door. We're, we're gaining the understanding. We're gaining the wisdom that we were seeking. If you don't even have it already, I feel like some of us, this is like, yeah, you're, you're telling me, you're not telling me anything new. Move that over there. Yep, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> Makes me happy. All right. So mental space. Nine of chalices. Beautiful. I love this. So again, this is awareness of your blessings. Look at this man. He's so stoked. Look at him with his nine cups. He's having a great time. He's like, yes, look at all my lovely things. And again, this is happening in your conscious space. So this is awareness of your blessings, whether it's coming to you or you have it already. I think you have it already, which is a beautiful thing. Um, and it's funny because as I say that, I truly believe that you are aware of all of these nine cups. You're aware of all these blessings, all these wonderful things that you can enjoy and relish in. And yet there's this one aspect that's like, but I want the tenth one. I have nine beautiful ones and I'm grateful for each one of them, but I want the tenth one. Where's the tenth one? It's like the final piece. It's the final piece I've been looking for. I have all these wonderful things and I love them and they're great, but there's one I keep looking at and it's missing, right? Is kind of what I'm getting here, Cancer. You know, and then you also have the Adept of Challenges. So this is our Knight of Cups. And yes, this could totally be someone coming in with a romantic offer or an emotional offer. So like something like an apology. To me, I think the fact that this is a knight is more indicative of this energy. Because knights are always seeking. They're going on a quest, right? The Adept wants to learn more, wants to understand more. He wants to chase and discover. Definitely learn. He's seeking that final cup. I have so many great things going on for me, but that one thing is missing. You know, I have all these wonderful things. I have this great job. You know, I wish I had someone to share it with. Where is that person? Or I have a beautiful home life and I love it. You know, but I wish, I wish, I, you know, I had my own business and it was off the ground. You know, things like that. It's like, I have all these wonderful things, which again, you are aware of and grateful for. There's just that one that you want to complete the puzzle, all right? And that, I think, is what has been having you and, uh, and us, because, again, I'm a Cancer, so I know exactly what we're talking about. When I talk to you guys, I'm talking to myself. But that's kind of what, that's where this soul-searching has come from. I'm so sorry, we've got another plane or jet or something going by. I hope you can still hear me. Um, but that's kind of what's been pushing us within because we're not finding it externally which you know you never were you're not meant to you know that that tenth cup comes when you're in alignment to it and that's the work you've been doing so whatever you've been doing however you've been working on resolving this issue or finding peace within your life you've been doing the right thing so take that as confirmation that this journey this internal journey and all the processing you've been going through hasn't been for nothing it may not have shown tangible results just yet but it is. You're doing the work that you were meant to do. So, definitely love seeing that. Ooh. Okay. All right. Hey. I'm into all of this. This is great. So, we have the Four of Flames here. Beautiful card. Nice, stable energy. Nice, grounded energy. Lots of gratitude in this card. But also lots of celebration. There's reason to be grateful. Right? There's reason to be grateful. We finally got, you know, that harvest we've been looking for. You know, we have this great bounty to celebrate because it's exactly what we've been waiting for here with the Three of Flames, you know? And again, like I said, this work you've been doing for a while. So for it to show up where it's like, you just started a new journey, you accomplished it right after, you know, because a lot of the pre-work you've been doing, you've been working on, you're already kind of well-versed in everything that's going on. Now it's just being initiated. So you kind of go from the beginning to the end almost instantly. Because again, you've, you've been watching this ship come in for a while. 
And then we have the Three of Chalices, so another card of celebration. Could be reunion, so for some of you, especially if we're talking about a relationship, if this was someone in your past that, you know, you didn't want to let go or, or, you know, if you didn't have to move away, things would have been different. This may even be someone coming back that, you know, maybe you don't entirely expect. Maybe someone's been on your mind, you've just been thinking of this person, wondering how they've been doing, and then out of nowhere they kind of return and and want back in the picture. And I, if that's what's happening, I don't think this is someone where you ended on bad terms, right? It's not, it's not, I wanted to get away from this person. It does feel if this, it feels like a reunion. So this is, you are separated for a reason, you know, maybe someone went off to school or, or work moved one of you away to a different city or a different state or something like that. Maybe even a different country, who knows? But there's a sense of reunion and coming together again. So whether this is just celebration, you know, in honor of what has returned or what has finally manifested, what's become tangible, or that's the blessing that this reunion is what we've been, been trying to manifest. But definitely something that, of, that is yours is returning to you, whether it's a person, an opportunity, a job, a, you know, whatever it is, something of yours is returning because you've done the work to manifest it, to, to align with it and attract it back to you. Because remember, what's yours is always meant to be yours. Even if it goes away, if it's meant to come back, it will come back, right? Out of curiosity, let's see. Look at that, bottom of the deck, the star, hope, optimism, faith. And this honestly is what you have been learning and what you've been gaining because you've been working on this literally just on faith. That has been the only thing that's been keeping you going is your faith that it is true, that this is your path. And I'm here to tell you it was, it is. And you did exactly what you were meant to do. It wasn't for nothing. It wasn't, you know, wasted dreaming. You believed in it and now it's coming true. Oh, Cancer, this is such a beautiful reading. Okay, let me move this this guy out of the way. You can hang out over here now. All right. No. Oh, okay. That was a really high one. <laughs> I love it. Full moon in Libra, Cancer. I want you to read that. A win-win outcome is forecast. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So all parties involved about to win. And I think, I think the significance of it being a win-win is literally this. This is a dream that affects more than just you and involves more than just you. So think of what I was talking about. If it's a relationship, it's not just because you want it. You both wanted it. It's a win-win. You know, if this, is a, if this is a career, you're not the only person invested in this success or involved. This could involve, you know, a partner. If it's a family business, it's, it involves the family. You know, if you have employees, you know, this is, this is a way to provide and support and inspire them. Like this, what you've been working on, and I'm just going to say it in true cancer fashion, right? Because we we're all about nurturing and taking care and we want everyone to feel happy and, and safe and loved. This win-win affects more than just you. It may be a personal dream, but it's a shared one. Whether, whether multiple people were invested and wanted it to happen or just because it happens, now you get to, to share these benefits with others and affect others' lives. This is beautiful. And one thing I want you to take away from that, this gives this what way more power you're not doing it on your own there's there's hopes and prayers and faith from other people supporting this dream so even though it's been a long journey even though you've been waiting for a minute and doing all this work you haven't been doing it alone i feel like a lot of this a lot of this support happened behind the scenes and you didn't even know people were, were hoping for success you didn't know people were saying prayers for you you didn't know people were were expecting this outcome just like you but they were, and it's coming. So again, with that star card down here, keep the faith, keep the faith. This is, this is coming so soon. And I almost want to say with eclipse season, eclipse season is probably what 
closes out the cycle, right? Because we talked about that right at the beginning. We're coming to the end of this period that maybe maybe that was the block. We had some loose ends we needed to tie up. We had some, some things about ourselves that needed to be finalized and set in stone and, and truly solidly grasped before all of this could come in. Because it feels like a backlog. It does. It feels like a backlog. It feels like we've been doing all this work, earning all these karma points, but none of this could come in until this was resolved. And honestly, these next 30 days, we're going to tie it up, send it on its way, and that's going to leave our, our arms open for a brand new package. So get excited, Cancer. Lots of good stuff coming your way. And again, all you have to do, keep doing the processing you've been doing. It's not hard. It's not new. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel. Keep doing you. Keep doing this work. Continue to love yourself. Continue to kind of deepen that bond you have with your own intuition, your own higher self, and really what what is meant for you? Who are you? What is it you want to do? What is it you want to achieve? What does your life look like? Right? Get in sync and get into that vibration. All of this comes even faster. All right, my lovelies. Send you out with love and light. I hope you guys, again, continue to stay safe during these crazy times. I love you all. Take care, and I will see you in your next reading. Bye, Cancer.